During the 18th century, as many as 100,000 small boys were castrated to preserve their high singing voices. Of these, a mere handful became the most famous singers of the age. The world's first international superstars, they were perhaps the greatest virtuoso singers ever heard on earth, the castrati. But the mature castrato voice didn't sound like a child, nor did it sound like a woman. Nothing in the whole of music is as fine as the fresh young voice of a castrato. No woman's voice has the same firmness, the same strength and the same smoothness. And it didn't sound like a male countertenor or falsettist. In this film, we're going to explore the sound and the world of the Baroque operatic castrati. And in a unique scientific experiment, we'll attempt to bring something of this lost voice back to life. For the whole of my adult singing life, I've been fascinated by the castrati and the extraordinary music that they sang. These kings of the 18th century operatic stage were the richest, the most highly sought after, the most extraordinarily virtuosic, the most pursued in many ways of all the singers we've ever heard. And for 200 years now, they've been extinct. The thing that made the castrato voice special appears to be the effect that that singer had on the audience. If one can understand something about what the special nature of that sound was, it will help us understand what it is that communicates from one human being to another. <laughs>